In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to install Yoast's WordPress SEO plugin and how to configure the dashboard. Step one is, of course, to go into your WordPress dashboard. And from there, we need to go to plugins and then add new. In the search box, we can simply type in WordPress SEO and search for that. Thankfully, it's the first result, so we don't have to search too far. Click install to install this plugin. WordPress will, of course, prompt if you do want to install it, so make sure you click OK. Next, it will go and download the plugin and install it into your WordPress website. When the plugin is ready to be activated, it will allow you to activate the plugin with this link here. So that's all we need to do to install the plugin. The next thing we need to do is configure it. First, it prompts us to allow tracking. Now, Tracking can be useful. It's up to you if you'd like to allow tracking or to not allow tracking, but we recommend that you do allow tracking because it allows the plugin developer to get an idea of how people are using that tracking and he can make improvements based on that. So we're going to click allow tracking. Next, you'll see down the bottom left hand side of your WordPress dashboard, there's an SEO button in the menu. It also has a little pop-up saying that you've just installed this plugin and you can choose to start the tour of it if you'd like. For now, we're just going to open up the SEO plugin dashboard. It does prompt you to subscribe to their newsletter. That's up to you if you'd like to do that. Now what we first have is the ability to reset the settings. Of course, we don't need to do this because we've only just installed this plugin. But if you do get caught somewhere and you want to just wipe your settings and start again, that's what you need to do. Secondly is tracking. Uh, we enabled that earlier, but if you want to disable it at any time or even enable it if you don't have it enabled, you can do that here. Next, we have the option to disable the advanced part of the WordPress SEO meta box underneath the security heading. This will make sure that certain settings on a per post or per page basis do or do not show. It's very handy if you have a multiple author blog because it will stop people from getting access to settings that they probably shouldn't. Or in the case that you don't trust the authors that you have working for you, uh, that's when you should definitely use it. Finally, we have the ability to set up and configure Webmaster Tools through this dashboard. The first is of course Google Webmaster Tools, which is a very handy product from Google. It allows you to submit sitemaps and just get a feel for what's going on with your website. You can see how Google retrieves it and so on. So in the instance that you did have Google Webmaster Tools, you can simply sign up at google.com slash webmasters if you'd like. You'll be given a, a meta tag that you can insert into your website, but rather than actually modifying your theme in any way, you can insert this directly here. So I've just pasted in a meta tag for this website, but we don't actually need most of this. We can just simply cut everything out and just leave this code in there and then that will enable Google Webmaster Tools on the website. The same thing applies for Bing Webmaster Tools. The process is almost exactly the same. You just need to sign up for Bing Webmaster Tools at bing.com slash webmaster and get the meta verification tag. And as far as the content goes, you just need to place that in into the Bing Webmaster Tools box. You can also choose to set up Alexa verification ID. If you don't know what this is, it probably won't be too useful for you. It's just another analytical tool. Uh, it is a paid tool as well, uh, so it may only be useful if you have a very popular website. And of course, when we're done here, all we need to do is click Save Changes. So that covers installing and configuring the general settings of Yoast WordPress SEO. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below.